Exciting news for Samsung Galaxy users. If you're waiting to experience Android 15, the B release for Samsung's Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S23 devices is just around the corner. We've got all the details on One UI 7, Samsung's major overhaul of its user interface that promises an exciting new look and powerful new features. From design updates to enhanced AI capabilities, this Android 15-based update could change how you interact with your Samsung device. So let's dive into everything we know so far. All right, let's kick things off with the timeline. For anyone who's been following Samsung's updates, you might know that Google Pixel and Vio devices already have access to Android 15, and Xiaomi is expected to roll out the update later this month. But the big news here is that Samsung isn't far behind. According to Insider Reports, the Android 15 beta for Samsung's Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S23 is set to go live in just 15 days. Earlier this month, Samsung gave a sneak peek at One UI 7, the interface that will sit on top of Android 15 for Galaxy devices. The official stable version of One UI 7 is slated to launch with the Galaxy S25 next year, but Samsung is getting a head start with this beta. Samsung's insider, Ice Universe, and ex-user Taron Vats posted images of beta forum pages on Samsung's community website, indicating that the beta program's launch is imminent. So, Galaxy S24 owners will likely be the first in line to try out the new features. One UI 7 isn't just a minor update. Samsung is making big changes to its user interface to keep up with the latest design trends and improve user experience. Some of the most anticipated updates include a redesigned lock screen, a new look for the recents or overview screen, and split notification panel and quick settings, all making it easier to access your most used features quickly. Samsung has also revamped the battery icon, giving a fresh new design and introduced a variety of new AI-powered features aimed at enhancing usability and personalization. One UI 7 seems to have taken a page from iOS with a more polished and modern look. It's evident that Samsung wants to streamline the experience, especially as it aligns with the new AI capabilities rolling out with Android 15. If you're considering diving into the beta program, keep in mind that beta versions are often buggy. Ice Universe mentioned that there are still quite a few unresolved issues in the software, which means you may encounter performance hiccups and glitches. This isn't uncommon for bit updates as they're primarily intended for testing purposes, allowing developers to iron out any kinks before the stable release. If your cell phone prefers a polished, smooth experience, you might want to hold off for the official release alongside the Galaxy S25 next year. But if you're eager to see what's new and can handle a few bugs here and there, this beta release could be a fun way to get an early taste of Android 15 on your Galaxy device. For those planning to upgrade, Samsung's Insider suggests the Galaxy S25 Ultra with 16 gigabytes RAM as the ultimate way to experience One UI 7. This powerhouse device, coupled with its next-gen Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, will ensure smooth performance and fully leverage all the new features and AI capabilities Android 15 has to offer. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is designed to handle the software's demands, so if you're all about peak performance, it's worth considering this upgrade. If you're excited to be among the first to try out Android 15 on your Samsung device, mark your calendar for 15 days from now. And as always, stay tuned here for more updates on the latest Galaxy news, updates, and everything Samsung. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all the latest. Catch you in the next one. Samsung has finally removed all doubts about a new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real and it's arriving soon. But now the big question is, how does this special edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the special edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6, 239 grams. Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display, making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9, 
142.6x4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5x132.6x5.6 x millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The Special Edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. However, we do know the Special Edition has an 8.0-inch main display and a 6.5-inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6-inch main display and a 6.3-inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120Hz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the Special Edition is made with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, a special edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16 gigabytes of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12 gigabytes. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512 gigabytes of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or 1 TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4,400 MA unit although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200 megapixel main camera compared to the 50 megapixel sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the four megapixel under panel camera. The Special Edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The Special Edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the Special Edition will be priced at around 2 million. 789,601 or 2,036 dollars, while the 512 gigabytes Fold 6 goes for 2,388,101 or 1,743 dollars. Ultimately, the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 200 megapixel camera. But if S Pen support is important to you, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 might still be the better choice. Either way, both of these foldables are top-tier devices, each with its